It's a big shakeup in the real estate industry, one that could mean big savings for people buying and selling homes in the Bay Area. Realtors are being accused of conspiracy over high commissions. It all started with the case in Missouri, but similar lawsuits have been filed in Illinois, Florida, Pennsylvania, and now in California, one of the most expensive real estate markets in the country, as we all know. So on a typical sale, we're talking tens of thousands of dollars split between the buyers and seller agents. But our Lauren Toms shows this new lawsuit could actually slash those commissions. We think uh, that the way commission works as it stands today will be completely different by the end of next year. 2024 could be the year that brings a long-awaited shakeup to the real estate industry as lawsuits claiming conspiracy among real estate companies to inflate commission rates are being heard in court. And Nick Narodny, the head of online real estate company Alto, says home buyers and sellers may see the change in their pockets. There is a lot of evidence that commissions are being kept artificially high, right, by the industry at large. That evidence was seen in a recent lawsuit filed in Missouri by a group of homeowners and buyers claiming major real estate brokerages artificially inflated commission rates, making it more expensive for people to buy or sell their homes. Certainly, I didn't understand why I was paying for someone who I'd never met, will never meet, and wasn't doing anything for me. It's a sentiment felt across the country amid skyrocketing home prices. In the Bay Area, with an average home price of over $1 million, commission fees tend to be 5% or $50,000 split between the buyer and seller's agents. Uh, we could make much more American dreams happen if commissions were lower, right? Because that fee is baked into the price of the home. Every time a home sells, that fee is 5 6% which is just crazy. It adds up really, really quickly. After a Missouri court ordered nearly $1.8 billion in damages, a similar lawsuit was brought in the North Bay aimed at the National Association of Realtors, Bay Area Real Estate Information Services, and several real estate brokerages. And Narodney says bursting the commission bubble could lead to a surge in home listings. If you actually lower that fee, you decrease the friction uh, to buy a home or sell a home. More homes can change hands. For Narodney, he's staying ahead of the curve by working off preset fees and thinks this could be an option for future agents. Our best bet is that buyers will have to negotiate their fees with their own agent, right? So I'm hiring you to do a job and we talk about what I'm going to pay you, similar to like if tiles being installed or a lot of other services that you get versus a fixed fee, no matter the service level, no matter the person which is a whole new thing that's like never been done before. And I just think getting there is going to be pretty messy. So we have reached out to all groups involved in the California lawsuit, but have not heard back. But after the landmark Missouri ruling, the National Association of Realtors said, quote, this matter is not close to being final as NAR plans to appeal. It's a case we'll certainly continue to watch.